Who's first? When uh, did what Baylor do? Was that any at all similar to what Kansas did in regards to trying to bottle Tyrese up a little bit? I guess and no. I mean, I, I mean, if you chart Tyrese's shots, I mean, man, he had some really good looks, you know. And I mean, Tyrese was already in the gym this morning because he's probably frustrated about the open looks he missed. Um, I think what we did, I mean, in the, in the first half, I mean, we were we were really good offensively. We got got great movement. Second half kind of wore down, but our ball screen started becoming more on the wing, and it can really pin you up when you get on the wing. When you get in the middle of the floor, it's a lot more room to operate. And so um, that's how they play, though. Baylor plays like Texas Tech. They're going to try to keep you on the side. And, and um, you know, they switch at times. But... Um, you know, we'll, we'll 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 add a couple things to you know when people you know ice us and things like that. But man, I thought I thought we had a lot of good opportunities though too. Like everybody, Tyrese's shooting numbers off the dribble are lower than the rest of us. Did, did it feel like that's what they were trying to get him to do? Is make him a shooter off the dribble? Um, I mean, we brought him off some pin downs. I think I thought he had some couple you know catch and shoot. Specifically shooter. off the, the pick you and know. roll, it felt like they were just trying to say go ahead and shoot it after a couple bounces. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I thought he got, I thought he got some good looks. You know, I, I, I do. Uh, Kansas, I would probably say, did Kansas, I would, I wouldn't have said that. Um, you know, but, you know, we, our pace has to keep up. You know, I mean, if you watch the first half, I mean, they were switching and and and, and, and some miscommunication, and we got, we got some open, open shots, and so, I mean, he's gonna, I mean, he's a great player. Terry, he's gonna have to play off the bounce and off the dribble some. I mean, that's just. The reality of it, and so, um, but they're good defensively. Um, you know, last play of the half, obviously that was that was a killer. Um, but I thought we really competed in the first half. Second half is what I was disappointed at, about. When when Tyrese is having one of these games like he did last night, who has to step up and provide the, the offense? I mean, you got to have. I mean, Rossier. Rossier's that over the last five games. I think he's averaged what 18 points or so the last five games. He's been really good. He shot it better. You know, he's got to play well, and then we need to. You know, we need to try to establish a post game. You know, I think we were, you know, 0 for 4 around the rim and, and, and post touches. But, you know, we we got to we got to throw the ball inside more when we're when we're struggling to make shots like that. And uh, but all those guys, I mean, Trey, Prentice, you know, Terrence, you know, they got to be able. They don't have to take over the game or anything. They just got to, you know, make the shots that come their way. But, you know, Ross here's got to, you know, you know, play well. You know, both those guys. I mean, they they can't go. What were they three for 20? You know, I mean, it's hard to, for us to win if they go three for 20. Is Bolton, is part of his play recently just maybe it took him time to get comfortable in, in the system, or is it just him being more aggressive? Uh, he needs to stay aggressive. I mean, I think, yeah, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Uh, but I think he shot the ball. I mean, he's, he's shooting the ball well from three the last five, six games. His numbers are really good, and percentages are good from the field, from three. Assist to turnover, you know, last year was – it was under one to two. You know, this year it's over one to one, so he's made strides in there. But again, the biggest challenge with him that I talk to him about all the time is just is playmaking when you get in the pain, is making good decisions and no wasted shots and, you know, being able to make a play for somebody else. Those, those are things he's got to continue to grow in. But, uh, you know, he's, he's, he's got to play well for us. I mean, he's the, he's, he's the next, he's, he's kind of the, you know, a guy you see can take point guard responsibilities, who can put Tyrese off the ball. Uh, you know, last night, like I said, the first half, I thought we really competed well. I thought we competed well. We made tough plays. We made some 50-50 plays. Didn't make up on opportunities offensively. And then the, the first five minutes of the second half, we, you know, is, is where the game was lost. You mentioned both post-defense or post-offense and mm -hmm. the first five minutes. I think early in the second half, you called time out and I assume drew up a play to get a close touch to George and the entry pass. I can't remember who it was. Threw yeah, Ross here. Yep. What, how frustrating is that coming out of a t timeout where you can't execute something yeah, I mean, relatively fundamental? Yeah, we got to be better in that. I mean, it's got to be better in those situations. I mean, we, we had an open post, we got to throw it in there, and we got to score it. That's just the reality of it. And so, um, we got to make better point emphasis. We got to work on it more, and we got to be more efficient. And so, you know, when we started, I mean, you know, the jump shots weren't falling, the jump shots weren't falling. We were like, all right, we, we got we get we got to get it inside and. Um, you know, that's that's just one of our actions. We're able to usually get a good touch and get a one-on-one -on, -one on the block down there, and it didn't develop. George said one thing that the whole team needs to be is just tougher. Um, 
to you, what does that mean for this team in terms of what, what does toughness mean for this team? Uh, consistency. I think that'd be the one word, consistency. I mean, we've showed it in flashes. I mean, I'll go on my, not my rant here, but I mean, if, we, if we're fortunate to win on Saturday, there's only 20 teams in the country that have three or more quad one wins. That would be our third quad one win, okay? You got 36 at-large teams, right? So we'd be one of 21 teams. Now, I don't know what everybody else is going to do, but today, all right, if we were to play the game today and win, we would be the 21st team. We'd be one of 14 teams with three quad one wins. And so it's consistency. We're very capable of doing it. It's consistency on the defensive end um, and on the glass. And we got to guard the ball better. We got to be better in ball screen defense. We got to rebound better. <laughs> Forget all the offense and all that stuff. You know, uh, we had some open opportunities. We didn't convert. So be it. I think the thing we have to be mentally, mentally tougher, uh, physically tougher, and emotionally tougher to where when we do go, things do go bad and you are down 10, can you handle it and come back? I mean, basketball, how many times you see people get down 15, 10, down 14 at half, and by the first media time, it's a six-point game. That's how the game is. And so, uh, you know, uh, I just, we, we do have to be tougher, you know. But, but tougher is being attention to detail and how we're guarding vital. You know what I mean? Two feet in the paint in the middle, taking away all their roles, okay? That's tougher. You know what I mean? Attention to detail and scouting report, uh, knowing what we're doing in those situations, executing out of a timeout, you know, on things we work on all the time. Uh, and so um, I mean, you can define toughness a lot of ways, but if we we got to be more consistent. Does that get more difficult when you're, I mean, obviously it does, but is that especially more difficult when you're playing Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech, in the three out of four games, three of the, what, 10, 11 best defenses? Well, that's our league, you know. That's just what it is. That's the reality. And so uh, I just watched um, Texas Tech all morning. I watched our clips from our game uh, last year, you know, at Texas Tech. What we scored, 45 and a half. And I watched a bunch of missed shots in that game too. And so uh, if we do it the right way, we're, we're, we're capable. We've got to share the ball. We've got to play with pace. We've got to move it. We've got to cut. And we can't let fatigue bring us not in the middle third of the middle middle of the floor and get us over to the outer third of the floor uh, and the ball can't stick I'm gonna show those guys possessions here in a minute of just man that thing was flying down there I mean that ball never stopped moving um, you know just like Oklahoma I tucked on you know we, we showed we scored on a possession at the 15 second clock 15 seconds left on the shot clock the ball dribbled we dribbled it twice you know the ball was going psh, 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 everywhere that's how it needs to be when you play tech the way you cut and the way you move and so, you know, we're, we're, we're capable of it. Um, we got to adjust some things uh, to try to help them a little bit. But, man, watch, I mean, you watch that Baylor first half, man. I thought there was a lot of, a lot of really good things. Um, we just weren't able to sustain it. What do you see from Tech and their personnel on film? I mean, they're good. I mean, Chris does a great job. Um, you know, they've got Chris Clark, fifth year senior, who they've kind of become as a point forward role now. Uh, Terrence Shannon's really good freshman, supposed to be back from injury in our game. Jerry uh, Ramsey is, from what everybody says, one of the top top five, if not the top freshman in the country. Uh, Moretti's, you know, a savvy guy that can really, really make shots, play in the Final Four. Uh, you know, and, and Holyfield provides a role for them. And uh, I may be I may be missing a couple guys. Kyler Edwards, you know, is, was a was a piece on the Final Four team as well. And so um, they defend you the same way. Uh, they, they're not much changed. I mean. Most of the stuff they ran from last year, they're running this year. The defense is the same. You got to go down there and you got to match their toughness, the energy, the environment. Um, and, and that's really it. And I mean, they're, they're nothing different than they were last year. No, names have changed and numbers have changed, but they are who they are. Thanks, Dick.